video starts, hit that like button, share this video, and hit that bell button for notifications. Let's get it. Love magic is more complicated than just a love potion or spell. You gotta have a psychological profile of the target. You have to know how to address the situation. You got to have a game plan. There's a lot of spiritualists online who are wet behind the ears. They don't have no experience with love. They've never been in situations that your, the clients are facing. You know, some of these people are just greener than the grass on a summer day. They don't have any burnouts. They don't have any stories to tell about their past life. Their, their experience has just been a walk in the park. Some of these people have been married for 30 years. They don't even know what it is to be single. All they can tell you about is what they've experienced and what has kept them in the relationship they're in. There's a plethora of situations out here. There's infidelity. Some of these people have never dealt with infidelity. They have never been in that desperate place where they want their target back. So I say this to you. When it comes down to doing love magic, you got to have a strategy. You got to have an approach. Because if your target you're working on is involved with a third party, how are you going to address the situation? You think you're going to address it with a, love, a basic love spell? candle being burned you got to know how to deal with the third party and what is it what has been the cause of the breakup or the separation was there domestic violence involved or was it for the act of infidelity or irre irre uh, irreconcilable differences not every situation can be addressed in one manner because there's multitude of causes and reasons why people separate. And if you don't get down to the root of the problem, how are you going to solve it? The person with no experience will just throw it on black magic and say someone put black magic on your relationship. So they don't even take time to sit down with you. Sometimes before you even get into doing work with a person, some people say go with a reading. That's fine. But sometimes common sense is better than a reading. If the client is doing something that's aggravating the target, why not tell the client to stop? If anything, if you go about doing work for this person and they have not corrected themselves or corrected the issues that they're bringing to the relationship, how can the relationship even work even if you're doing love magic? because you're gonna find yourself at square one. How you start is how you finish. As a client, if you talk to a spiritualist and here they are, they just wanna to run to the situation and they don't take time out to hear your case, that's a red flag. The spiritualists that you go to, they have to be able to listen to you, listen to your problem. Not just, oh, let's just throw tarot cards here and just see what the cards say. For some people it works. But in the practical world, in what has kept me on top for the past 20 years doing this, has been the fact that I've been able to empathize. I've had empathy in my heart and I've had a listening ear. Sometimes what a person truly needs at time is for someone to listen to them. And you find in a lot of situations, 
the root cause of relationship issues is a fact that one of the per one of the parties don't listen. So I want you guys to understand that when it comes to love magic, there's a lot of things involved. Sometimes you could be with someone that just want to see you hurt. You try to get them back and they, th they find you in a vulnerable state. Now they want to make you suffer. How are you going to deal with that if your spiritualist hasn't gave you a game plan of how to address that? If anything, you'll make matters worse.